All right. Mother. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness, this guy. <laughs> How we been doing this for like eight months? <laughs> uh, we take up my fake glasses for a second. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Unofficially Opinionated. I'm here with um, all two, three of our hosts. <laughs> no, two, but okay. <laughs> We are here. And there's three of us in total. There is three of us, yes, in, total. Three of us in total. Oh man. Anyways. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, topic for today is uh, what I'm calling the Little Mer- Mermaid issue. It, it's kind of about her, but you know, it's about mostly about the subject of how everybody's talking about it and blackwashing. <laughs> yes. Blackwashing. Oh, wow, blackwashing. <laughs> I mean, oh listen. Boy. I just, I just coined that term. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Because it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, so I, I'll, I'll say this. You know, like there, there, are, there are a lot of like there are a lot of movies out there. There are a lot of videos and other things where, you know, you have characters who. Where you know, like in the they're they're real people, and they're people of color, but when they're portrayed in like movies and such, they're not. And nobody cares. Wait, um, what? So, so you say, wait, what? <laughs> Nate's so, confused. Yes. Please continue. D- um, uh, confuse me. <laughs> so, like, all right, like, so I have a couple, I like in, like, in my little, my little, um. Thing that I'm not going off of here that I took so much time to write and you know, I'm not reading it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were talking about other movies. So you're saying like you had a list of like other movies, right? Yeah, like yeah, like maybe maybe if we if we backtrack all the way, so what is the Little Mermaid issue? Yeah. The Little Mermaid issue, yes, you're right. Um the Little Mermaid issue is um when they said that Hailey Bailey Haley Bailey was going to be the actress to portray Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. Everybody went up, like, you know, in 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 arms about this because they're like, "Hey, Bailey's black," and I'm like, and, and I've had two thoughts. At first, I was like, "So, right?" <clears throat> but you know, when I started thinking about it. I, I I I guess I don't know. I don't know if I if I change from that position exactly or a hundred percent. Like I'm interested to see her portray um Ariel. Don't get me wrong. I, I wanna see. She can sing. I want to hear this. You know? But I feel like there's another thing that, you know, underneath where you know, like where I'm asking myself, is this is this pandering? You know? Like you're asking if it, if it's pandering to to whom, to or to what, and it's and to, to people of color. Period. Is this pandering? Is this is this what Disney does? Because you know, like, um, <clears throat> like I don't know if you guys ever heard this commercial. I didn't put this in my notes. Um, so this is a commercial where they go, where Disney's like they say, come um, come with us to our theme parks or whatever, and. Um, and they're talking. They're saying something to the point of, you know, come and join our Black Panther and some other uh, character that you know that's African American. And they said, join us in our Black experience. That just comes off wrong to me. I don't know why. It's like, okay, now you don't. You're not going to hear nobody say, hey, come, 
come to Disney and join us for our white experience or come or our age. Well, you might hear Asian thing because they're people of color. But it's like it's you know it's like Disney's kind of using this as like a, a you know just a, you know they're pandering. They're trying to get us to come out and see this thing. So and, question I have is is <clears throat> sorry for the coughing into the microphone. So as we think about a character being a race other than maybe what it was the first time we experienced that character. How do we know whether it's pandering or not? So I, well, I don't think any I don't think any of us would say, oh, any fictional character can only ever be the race that I first experienced it with in my personal experience. Right. 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 So when when do we think it's pandering versus just it just we changed the race because we felt like it or that actor was the best actor we had. I mean, yeah. Like I, I also had a question I have a question about like what's the difference between pandering and something that we've talked about before, which is just representation. Right. You know? So so like for example, um yeah, when I heard about her being the little mermaid, no, I, the, there was a part of me that was like, Oh, she's black. You know, and I just remember the Little Mermaid just being white. But then I got over it, like within <laughs> two split seconds. You know, like I was like, "Oh, she's black. Oh, she's white. Oh, whatever." You know, and when I, I didn't even know who she was, they were like, "Oh, she sings really well." Uh, if you were worried, if you're just like, "Oh, she can just sing," then you could have a white person playing uh, Ariel and then have her singing in the background. That's happened before, so it's not like it's it's impossible, but then I saw that everybody was just having issues with the fact that she was black. And I was just like, well, this, this doesn't make any sense. And there was a lot of like things that came out. Like they were like, Oh, well she's um, a fictional character. I think that's like one of the main things. She's a fictional right. character, you know, this I isn't agree. historical, you know, this isn't, right. she's a fictional. Okay. You can make her whatever you want to make her, you know, you can, she can be Asian. She can be, uh, native you know it's not like it's not like pocahontas for example you know right you make folk pocahontas um black well you're gonna have a little issue there because yeah. you know black people in the north america weren't north uh native americans you know so, so I, I know for the little mermaid i've seen specific criticism because the story i guess is is danish, danish. In origin originally yeah. mm -hmm. um but does that mean no, still that the character has to be white just because that's where the story came from originally. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Especially also, depending upon where the story takes place, right? Because right. remember, it remember that the cartoon Sebastian wasn't. Yes, I mean, no, he was exactly. in the Caribbean. Caribbean, it was you know, Caribbean whatever. Is what I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So I mean, like, if you, yeah, the Danish can come up with it. I don't care who comes up with it. It's not like they said Ariel was white. I don't think. You know, like, uh, whatever. And then also, how you gonna have, a, like, a white person in the middle of the Caribbean, you know, <laughs> where, I mean, you got you got a Caribbean-sounding crab, right? Right. But then everybody, nobody else is Caribbean. Like, and none of this, <laughs> none of this makes any sense. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, so, and, that, and that was the other thought to me, you know. That was, in the beginning, that's where I was at. I was like, okay, <clears throat> So you got, so I was thinking, okay, so they want us, you know, to make a movie where you got, you got your, you know, your white Ariel, and then you got your, you got, then you're going to have your, um, in this, in this day of age, you're going to have your, you know, hokey African, you know, your hokey black man, you know, singing and dancing as a crab. Hokey though. black man as a Wait, is it going to be an actual it. man or is it going to be a CGI? No, no, but I'm crab. saying the care, whoever's doing the voice for right. Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sebastian was at the time, and because I was a kid, I didn't care. And now that I'm grown, I've been hearing it. But every time I think about it, he's the the dance, he, you know, he's the one that gets up there and dances and sings and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he's a he's a black crab. He's a he's a Caribbean crab. Yeah, he's but he, he did more in the That's in the like, movie. He did more than just singing and dancing. Like he was no, like, but he did. But he was he really did a lot of singing and dancing. And so you you view him as almost like like a minstrel type of character and kind of the, yes. the portrayal of him a, a little bit. Yes. Oh, I don't There's see him as that way. He, he only has. Doesn't too. he only have two songs? If I'm not mistaken. 
Under the Sea and uh, Kiss Kiss the Girl. Yeah, I think he I mean, only has two songs, if I'm not mistaken. And otherwise, like, he was very pivotal in the entire story. It wasn't like he was a sideline character, you know? No, he wasn't a sideline. He was, but he did a lot of... Um... Okay, maybe that was, maybe from my memory, he was he. I remember him doing a lot of. There was a lot of you know, a lot of the comedy was based on him, and then singing and dancing, and um, you know stuff in that nature. That, that's oh, yes. what, I, what I remember. He was doing the comedy. <clears throat> uh, no, I, I I totally understand where you're coming from. I'm not I'm not invalidating what you're what you're saying, especially like when you were back back in the day when you're watching it. Obviously, you feel a certain type of way. You just feel a certain type of way. That's the way it is. You know. Um, I'm just like, I'm just questioning it for like current day for this new movie coming out. If they do make him some sort of like side side show, Bob, that would be a problem, you know, because mm-hmm. like he was a very pivotal character in the story in the Disney story. I haven't read the original story, but he, I, I don't think he's supposed to be a comedian because it's a yeah. Disney. Movie. He's supposed to be a comedian, um, but without him, like all of this stuff, everything would have gone falls bad. apart. You know? Yeah. yeah, exactly. I agree. So he should be a he should be whoever's playing him. I have not followed this thing up at all. <laughs> <laughs> like again, I th- my favorite songs, my favorite Disney songs come from The Little Mermaid, um, mm-hmm. but it is not my favorite Disney movie. So I have not paid it any mind after that <laughs> like, yeah so just, after just hearing for, this news yeah, just just for information purposes so D- david diggs plays sebastian so if if you've seen hamilton which i don't think either of you did no <laughs> but he plays <laughs> you were yelling at me for right <laughs> uh, uh, but he plays thomas jefferson and he plays um lafayette uh, but he's also been on some shows he was on blackish for a little bit he's been he was on um the show snowpiercer Who was what character did he play on blackish he was um uh, Rainbow's brother, I think. Oh, okay. I know you're talking about. Wait, what's his name? I'm going to look him up real quick. David Diggs. I know who you're talking about. He was uh, their uncle. They're mm-hmm. kind of yeah. like a hippie. Yeah. Okay. I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, see. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's kind of yeah. Okay. So, Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yes. So, like, so, you know, like, all in all, when, when, when I think about, when, when I think about the whole, you know, you know, thing about Disney changing her skin color and everything. I don't really think it's gonna like change anything. I I, I really just kind of think it's just gonna be a distraction. You where know, do you to... think all this uh, this hullabaloo is coming from? Like, do you, where do you honestly think it's coming from? It depends. And, and where would you? Where do you think your thoughts on pandering are coming from? On Disney pandering. So. The reason why, I, uh, when it comes to like, because I know Disney panders. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Disney, they 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 they're a company that's that like like they are about like a hundred percent about money, and they'll use candy and lollipop and children to get it. They don't care. Yes. Um, so like in the other business, you know, right? So. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and people have this idea that Disney's not. No, they, they are about, they're about money. That's everything they do is it's about money. So, you know, like the reason why I believe this is pandering is because it, it kind of is. I mean, think about it. Why so, all of a sudden would they just change her skin color? I mean, I understand Holly Bailey can sing, right? She can, she has a beautiful voice. But she's not the only person that can sing. So, they, so what what happens if when they were doing interviews and they say we're just gonna, we're just going to audition anyone, regardless of skin color, yeah. and she had the best audition? Yeah, I, I, I I'm what not if, saying she doesn't. What if that was or the case? Didn't. Or or they just said literally, hey, look, we've got X number of movies coming out in the next ten years. Right. Mm-hmm. We need some of these to not be just the same, you know, all white cast that we've had in the past, given current society and where we're going. So. No, I see if we can that. push some so of here, these over the line a little bit. So here's what I'm saying. OK. So if that's the case. And and this is on one half of what I'm saying, I, I like it's like I don't always believe this, but there's a part of me that re- that that thinks this. 
if they're starting out new characters, like this is a new character, a new IP, right? They're just, okay. Then throw African-American in there, throw Asian in there, you know, it's a main character, right? Throw, throw, you know, a, you know, Latino, Latina in there, right? It's a main character, right? Do that. If everybody gets up rolled by, oh, the history of it. Well, this is a Disney thing. This is their first time touching it. This is what this person is now for Disney, right? That's fine. But it kind of feels like pandering when you take a character that you already created, you know, under your um, under your brand, and now you're changing them out to something else. That's one half of my thoughts, right? <laughs> the other half of my thoughts is like, I really don't care. You know, I, I don't think it's going to be a big idea, but that's just me thinking about me. But when I think about like the bigger picture, the the you know the whole global audience that's going to look at this and how everybody else is going to interpret this thing, you know, then I have to think about okay, yeah, there's going to be some African American. There's going to be a lot of African Americans that are going to look at this as pandering, and I have to kind of understand where they're coming from with that. So you know, because in some ways I understand that. Yeah. As well, when when I when I look back at it, a lot of stories focused on like white male characters because mm-hmm. that's who was in charge and people tend to kind of do what they know what they're comfortable with if we only ever just go forward with those stories as they were and we only ever make new things i think we're a little bit hamstrung there like i'm thinking also about like in the sandman where they switched um john constantine to joanna right yep. now she's a woman instead of a man does that really make it like why is anyone mad about that? I I I I, I don't know. We, we look at Black Panther, the movie coming out, where they changed Namor in the comics was from Atlantis, right? Which they kind of coded as kind of a bunch of underwater like blue people, whitish, whatever. They switched it to kind of be based in I guess South America, kind of Mexican area, based on kind of some Aztec. Um, mythology and so now they're kind of native to that area and kind of have a kind of south american <clears throat> mythology versus kind of the atlantean mythology uh, people are mad about that but you know for me if if we say we can only ever do what it originally was and the original was always skewed in one way i think we're kind of stuck a little bit i don't know i, I understand I, I i understand what you're saying and, and and that's another thing i think about too but hold on one second voice. I think you're on mute, Nate. My bad. (laughs) 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 I I think we had this discussion before about whether we should just advance with new um, uh, ethnically uh, sensitive material or whether we should like revisit stuff that's already been produced. <clears throat> yeah. And that that's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I believe like, like, okay, here's the thing. So I'm like, cause like I said, I haven't decided exactly where I'm at. I think I'm somewhere still in the middle. You know, I'm just like throwing the ball back and forth on this one because I understand, like I said, I understand the pandering, but in the other side, I don't care. And sometimes I want to see this. I want to see what it looks like. Right. You know, that interest of, wanted to see what this looks like, what Holly can bring to it, right? You know, Haley. I keep saying Holly because I keep thinking Holly Berry. It's Haley. I Berry. think that's how they pronounce it. Holly Holly Bailey. Haley. Are you sure? Or, okay. Uh, Every time yeah, I heard I it, it was Holly, and it. that's the reason why I know is because I always <laughs> thought they were saying Holly Berry. Yeah. And or is it Halle? I keep saying that in uh-huh. my head. Or is it Halle? Halle, Holly, Haley. I don't know. I don't know either. I have a decise idea. I know how it's written. Sorry, Hallie Haley. (coughs) Holly, if you're listening, (laughs) we're butchering your name repeatedly. We are. And I'm sorry. If she's listening. (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, personally, I don't know why. I mean, I know why. uh, The reason why I think it's a big deal, I don't think it has anything to do with. Oh my gosh, she was white in the beginning. Now you're making her black. I think it has a lot to do just do with pure and simple uh, um, 
hidden racism. You know, like I, I feel like at the end of the day, that's really where it's based. You know, like they had uh, this is nothing to do with this, but like, you know, they had uh, they were upset with Lizzo playing that flute from however right. long or whatever. But then they weren't upset with uh, what's her name? Who was playing the piano? Um, Taylor Swift, oh, I think it was I or something remember. like that. Mm hmm. I don't know. Like, I really think at the end of the day, and this is only in America, because I could tell you in France, they don't care. They don't give an F. <laughs> they're, just like, they're just like, eh, you know, like when it comes out, we'll watch it. Like, that's how they feel about it. There's no big up what to do about it or anything like that. They're not concerned about it. I mean, maybe in England, but I, was, I don't think in England they care either. Like, this is a, I mean, and in England, they have a, they, they do have racism you know, prevalent there. Um, but this is only in the Anglophone country. Well, in America and maybe in England, I can't say if it's in England or not. Like otherwise, hmm. no, none of these other countries care. Switzerland doesn't care either. Like it's, it's a, okay. It's a, and, and it's a movie. No. Like for them, it's just a movie, you know? I, I understand. And that's where, you know, when you got, when you go to different countries, that's where the, 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 the culture is different. You know, yeah. I mean, um, I feel like coming to coming to Europe was just a breath of fresh air. You know, like uh, mm -hmm. I feel like America is just, you know, it is thick. It's a pressure cooker. You know that if the uh, pressure isn't released, it's pro it's going to explode somehow. I don't know. Because they're making a big deal out of nothing for everything. It's not just this movie. It's everything. I make it and it and it's all based in some sort of like um, fundamentalist, uh, you know, thinking. You know, so, sort of like racist thinking or something like that. They will definitely mask it. You know what? What I was thinking, uh, you know. Christian, we watched uh, the Sandman, and we were talking about the um, that that uh, that um, what was it the event the the collectors event or whatever. Oh and then right. The, and then uh, Dream came, and he removed their dream, their fantasy about right. how they were trying to make themselves feel better about what they were doing or whatever, and mm -hmm. they couldn't. You know, a lot of them couldn't cope with it or whatever. I feel like. At the end of the day, if some something like that happened to these people, they would see they, they they wouldn't be able to hide from the 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 truth of the matter. I, that's that's my opinion. That's just what I see from it. Because to be honest, there I would I don't even have to say that there are other things that we should be like concerned about or whatever. Like it, this is literally so non consequential like it's really nothing that should be it, we literally should not be having a podcast about this <laughs> right but, but that but that, that that's also why it's also important that they do this because while it shouldn't be an yeah. issue mm -hmm. it like, is obviously mm -hmm. it absolutely is an issue yes exactly. and so if we don't do something then we're just kind of perpetuating it so while, while it shouldn't matter mm-hmm it does matter to some people. And so we almost have to do it in spite of them to kind of show them, Hey, this is happening. This is okay. Like expose them to it. <laughs> I, I would agree. But, and, but they're like, like I said, though, I like, excuse me, like trying to, I, I'm just trying to keep myself open to both sides, you know, where like, I don't want to just lean to one direction, you know, because when you do that, then just like them, I guess you would say, you know, or whatever. When I say them, I'm like whatever side you know, who you're on on this on this topic. You silence the, uh, the opposite, you know, the other side in your mind. You know, like, like, like I said, personally, I don't care. You know, I, I, you know, I the, when it comes to Little Mermaid, um, who is the Little Mermaid? Was she ever a real person? She's a fish. Although <laughs> I think you. I think you do care because we we discussed this before about your preference yeah. for not Superman. changing the race of characters and just having new stories. Like yeah, that's what I was saying. It was it was off podcast, but we talked for what two hours about this before yes. about yeah. Superman and you know Valzad and all and this so, stuff, right? So I I, I so, think you do care. I'm just so saying. here, and I explain it. I explain when I'm where I'm coming from on this. Like 
personally, I don't care, but I do understand where people are coming from with this. And that part, I, I do I care, care about. about. <laughs> yes. You care because, because they care. <laughs> no, I care. Okay. I care because, like, like, okay, there's this notion that, you know, instead, instead of, you know, making a new character with his own thing, like, like saying, it's like saying, um, People of color don't sell. Well, people of del- so, color don't sell. I mean, not as much as they do uh, in America. Not as much as white people do. And I guarantee so, you, if that <clears throat> weren't the case, um, <laughs> then there would be far many, far more uh, black people, uh, like black people. So in what movies. I but <clears throat> so what I think is this. Think about mo- like. Um, Think about most um, actors or whatever. Like when you think of like you know you're thinking of like you know like that are African American, that what we call the the most popular Africans, like the movies and stuff, right? You're thinking like like you know like I guess uh, you could say Samuel Jackson, though that's because he was so belligerent. And everything he did, I would think like you know, yeah, Samuel Jackson, uh, Denzel, uh, Denzel Washington. Washington. Yeah, he's probably one of the most famous, I guess, black uh, actors. That yeah, I, I would that I know. But a lot of them, Will yeah. Smith. But a lot of them. One thing I, one thing, um, one thing I've noticed to some things, a lot of their 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 movies and stuff that they play, the characters, play, unless it really called for it. And I, I don't know a, a good way of saying it, or a word, you know, they kind of took some, they, they didn't add any, what they call black isms, I guess, into the character. So like, I remember when I was younger, I used to say, I wonder if you took a character that was written as written as a white character. So the, you know, screenplay, everything was written as a white character, right? And then at that moment, they said, okay, we're just going to cast a black person for it. How would that come out? Because then they take, they leave out all those black isms and all that, you know, some of that language and whatever, right? Hold on one second. Uh, I don't think you necessarily, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, you can <laughs> write to communities, right? So if you, mm-hmm. if you do write to communities, then it's kind of hard putting somebody who's not in that community in this community. So, but like, so for example, but you can have somebody that is in this community who does not look the way that you're expecting them to look. And what I'm saying is if you write towards a black, maybe a typical quote unquote typical, cause I don't know what a typical black community looks like, but if you write towards a typical right black community something like um i'm sorry it's not a funny movie but every time i think of it i think of the spoof um a boys in the hood all right uh, right don't what's it don't be a minister right (laughs) (laughs) anyway sorry but anyways you know when if you write to something like that you could put a white person in there right to one of those one of those um into one of those main uh, position, uh, main uh, acting roles, but that person would have to be somebody like, like Eminem, like someone who's grown up in that community. So they would know. But, but could you? You could. You, you, because you could they have. would have, if yeah. they're in the community, they know what the struggle is. Okay, it's not the color of the skin that is going to really change it. At that point, it's like where they're coming from. You know. Yeah. No. But I'm talking about like, I, what I, okay. So what I'm saying. I'm talking about like the stuff that comes out of their mouths. Yeah, the stuff even, that, even all so, the words so, that they say. Yeah, I, I mean, I, th- I think to your point, Nate, like not everyone that's black talks the same. Right. Right. Exactly. But, but we're talking about boys. Right. And but, honestly, but if if we're going to portray someone black in a movie, then there has to be a decision made about what type of black person that's going to be right. as that character. Right. It's just that's I just agree. a decision you have to make. 
Like, where are they from? Right. And based upon that, how would they interact? What would they sound like? What, what would their mannerisms be? And so if you have someone, you know, just randomly talking, again, stereotypically, in quotes, white, as people say, right, you need to have some story reason why that's the case, where they grew up. And it's going to be probably not a typical story. Now, people can relate to it and they can understand it, but it's going to be, it's going, it's going to look out of sorts for a lot of people that didn't grow up that specific way, because that's going to be a kind of a narrower experience than people on mm-hmm. either side of that. Right. So you can just swap out the white character and make them black. You can just simply do that. But is that doing service to now this character that you simply just swap the race and not made it a black character where you could have okay. you know, there, there, there is some <clears throat> loss there potentially, but also knowing that, Hey, why can't a black person have had this exact same experience, which, which we do know it does happen. Right. right? It's not like it yes. doesn't happen. Right. It's just by numbers it's going to be not as often. And so yep. do you portray the, the very rare situation or do you try to make it more relatable to more people that can really feel that and then kind of be, I guess, more personalized with, with that particular piece, piece of art, I guess. Yeah. I mean, and, and you can make, you can, you can choose to, um, you, I mean, you can, you can choose to like hone in on this one particular type of story. Uh, and you know, like if you want to tell something like an, a uh, the, what is the the word I'm looking for? It's not exotic, but like, um, you know, very, very, I don't know, very specific. If you want to tell this very uh, specific story you and put anybody in there and then give them a background that makes sense. I mean, you can do that. Any production company can do that, you know? So at the end of the day, in reality, none of the none of the ethnicity makes sense the only thing that makes the, the that's really a difference is the problem of racism in america like that's really the only thing because <clears throat> excuse me based on um and that's not even a thing because you know there are you know black people don't get um um, jobs because of the color of their skin, you know, they don't, uh, they got, they get treated poorly because of the color of their skin, but there are also randomly some white people who got treated like trailer trash, you know, because they looked a certain way or whatever. They had similar, uh, uh circumstances. Black people were like, yeah, well, we were enslaved. Well, so were white people actually, you know, like that was a thing as well. You know, I mean, <clears throat> mm-hmm. we were mass traded by, the Africans, okay, whereas it probably didn't happen that way with white people, but there were white there were white people that came from that descended from slavery, slaves. Sorry, you know. So it's not like our story, black story, is like just simply unique. The problem is it is like just instilled in our system. Like people, people, st- it's really an interesting. It's really weird. People still think that this is a thing, you know, like racism, they, they make racism, they, they keep racism alive and well when it doesn't actually matter. You know, I, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and I think it goes to, I know what, like, to what, what are, are you trying to tell a fully, like how, how realistic in quotes are you trying to make the story be? For example, like I watch a lot of Hallmark movies. I think you do as well, Nate. And yes. every now and then you'll have like some random country town that's super multicultural and everyone gets along and is a black person, yep. an Asian person. And I'm mm-hmm. like, does that town really exist? You know what it I mean? Like, does, does it really like, are, are there really these backwoods towns where it's super interracial, but it's like really backwoods, but yeah, everyone gets, a, gets along. And, if it's backwards, and, 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 well. and, and the, the, the mayor's <laughs> black, Walmart. but this, you know, this person's yeah. Asian, like it could happen. Right? Yeah. Is that common? Is that reality? Maybe not, but not in America. <laughs> I still right, but I still enjoy watching. I'm not watching it for it to be realistic. realistic I'm watching right. it to because it's pleasant to see that, right? And I'm not, I'm not going exactly. to. I'm, I'm not going to nitpick it because that would never happen. Like even though I, even though right. back in me, I'm like, this is kind of 
little bit phony, right? Because yeah. I'm not going to find this town somewhere, <laughs> but it's aspirational yeah. and I can enjoy it. And it doesn't matter that it's not literally real because we can have all kinds of people in the story and it looks colorful and it looks like what I would like it to look like, even though it might not be what it literally would be. And you know, the, the thing about that is like, it's very, it's, it's, it's cool because it helps you if you're watching this, I think, and this is probably one of the reasons why they do this now, because at, at one point in time, Hallmark was all white, like right. everything else um, is because it's a good way to show the entire world in a, in a small series or movie or, or something like that. You know, the entire world mm-hmm. is full of different ethnicities, you know, and they're like, and America is full of a bunch of different ethnicities. And, and it seems like they're just like, I mean, in Seattle, you will find a bunch of different eth- ethnicities, you know, you find everything. Yeah, exactly. Precisely. Right. It's just not a backwoods town. You know, it's a, it's a huge metropolis. If you go out and or, swim somewhere, you're going to find a whole bunch of black people living and getting along with everybody. Uh, maybe not. Say that again? If, if, if you're back in <laughs> swim somewhere or, you know, way back out in Port yeah. Angeles or somewhere, well, in the, you know, <laughs> I don't know, true. right? Like, because, because all these stories take yes, place exactly. out there, right? It's like, oh, it's a little, you know, coastal town. Da, 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 da. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, except for in California, <laughs> you will find some, they're not necessarily backwoods, but coastal towns or whatever that are well mixed but that's california so. <laughs> <laughs> right california is a is an entirely different country so <laughs> <laughs> right yeah so yeah <clears throat> excuse me i kind of lost my lost my oh no i was just saying that I, I think what attracts me to to that type of thing oh i was i was also talking to my brother uh about the sandman he said he had started seeing he got to like um, episode seven when I talked to him. Um, but I was telling him what was interesting is that the thing about Sandman was I read that Neil Gaiman or Gaiman, however you pronounce his name, he was talking about his writing room and how it was just full of different people from just multiple different basically like the UN, like from multiple different backgrounds. It's just like, he was like, um, I don't know, like there were Asians there and, you know, white people and whatever. Uh, he wasn't saying it exactly like that. It was, le- it was right. more <laughs> imagery, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, you know, there were gay people there and there straight people and there were lesbians. And this is why it, this is why the show looks like that. But the show looks incredible. You know, and it, it looks natural. You know, it doesn't look like they're forcing so, anything. You know what I mean? So, so <clears throat> excuse me. So I, I, I like that. I like the fact that Hallmark is trying to do that. And there are other, um, yeah. there are other shows yeah. that are trying to do the same thing. You know? Lifetime is where well, they're trying they're, to. Lifetime's actually doing a better job in Hallmark, but that's a different podcast, I guess. Lifetime? I haven't seen. Oh yeah, li- li- Lifetime is much more diverse than Hallmark yeah. by by far. Oh wow. Yeah, it is. By far. My wife watches it. I watch it. <laughs> oh, really? Both Lifetime. Are they the ones? Yes. No, that's uh, something else. Lifetime. Is... But, okay. Yes. Nate. All right. Going off subject, but going on, on your tangent, which you said. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I keep hearing this. So are you sure that if Sandman came out with a season two, you wouldn't watch it? <laughs> are you Unless kidding you... me? Because... <laughs> 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 Isn't that Unless, what you're concerned about? <laughs> like, After all of this, like I'm, season my, of season. the more you keep talking, the more you keep talking about Sandman, the more the less I forget about our topic, and that's all I want to talk about now. I'm like, now is this the guy that said? Unless we're talking about it, I'm not gonna watch it. Even just keep talking about it for no reason. Just like, yeah, I'm talking over my brother, and oh, here's some concepts that I want to I want to relay on this subject about Sandman. I'm like, man, you got Sandman right here. Bro. I told you it was He's a right good here. series. Like <laughs> it was really well done. I liked it. I have no qualms <laughs> about anything that happened in there <laughs> except the gore. I, I don't have any problems with that. You know? <laughs> so like I, I couldn't make my, I didn't even watch the, uh, I didn't even watch the Dahmer series that, I couldn't watch it. Well, that's different. No, it, listen, to me, that's the same <laughs> thing. <Okay. laughs> so, <laughs> I couldn't watch it. I, you know, whatever. And it was the, apparently Dahmer was the, um, high, what is it? The highest, 
watched oh um Netflix Video show Netflix movie? show yeah. of all time. I haven't right? I haven't seen it yet. Really? Yeah, I haven't seen it either. I haven't seen it. There were people online that were like, "Oh, I uh, you know, they had to turn it off like after the first two episodes or something like or the first episode. They're like they had to turn it off. It was just too much." And these are people that have watched Silence of the Lamb, which I also have not watched, right? <laughs> so like no. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I so literally you, only watched this because you all, because we were going to do a review about it. I, that is the only reason. <clears throat> I am not lying to you. I'm not holding anything back. Got it. <laughs> so but, back, um, back to topic, yeah. though. I do have a question for you guys. So <laughs> does it? So I, I know Tim. You, you said that you know you believe Disney is all about money, and that's why they're doing these things. Um, mm-hmm. Does that are. matter? No. <laughs> Yes. Right, because it, yeah, because <laughs> any company, I would say in ninety nine percent of the cases, is doing is doing what it needs to do to make money. That's 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 they have to make money to exist, and they exist yeah. only to yeah. make money. Okay, and I explain why. I explain why I believe that. I'm not saying I'm correct. Hell, I can be off on a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, the reason why I say this, okay, Disney is doing it for. For money, they're not doing it for any other reason. I don't believe that, right? And the fact, and so the fact that they're doing it for money, and they're not, then and they're, they're so if it's like this, okay, if I'm doing something for money, and I'm and I'm cha- and I race swap a character, right? That means the race that I'm swapping that character to, especially if I already had something out, you know, that means I have like, that means I don't believe that we can make a new character with that race and and it could be the same, the same type of success as, as example, like 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 i can't like, just let's say disney decided that they're gonna because i'm doing it yeah, only so money. let's say they decide that you know half of their energy is going to come from sustainable sources say right mm-hmm. and they, they decide to do that they aren't, they aren't going to do that because it's good for the environment they're going to do that because no. it's perceived as good There's for no the for environment money. and it will make them more money yeah does that mean i should be like well y'all should have never done yeah. that like don't do it no but because that's a, you're only doing it yeah, because but, of the money yeah but that but that but that is a uh that's that's a product i mean yes this movie is a product but that is a that's a consumable you know i mean when you, you know you know, that 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 doesn't have uh that's not a that's not a human face it's not a it's not a person you're you know when when you're doing this this is a product this is this is something that has a human face this is you know if you take the other fish tail off her, it's a, she's so, a human. So right? you would only accept them swapping the race of the character so it speaks if different. they did it for the good of society and not to make money. But they're not. But if they did, you'd be okay with it. <laughs> if, if, if somehow we can I mean, prove that, hey, they're so doing here, it just okay, for the good the, of it, so money personally, be darned. right? We don't care about the money. This is about, about so, principle. So personally, yeah, personally, I don't care. Okay, am I gonna watch this movie? Probably yes. Um, am I gonna sit here and and, and am I really thinking about this? You know, version. She's white. The real life version. She's not. They're trying to make it different. I get that. You know, um, but somewhere, somewhere inside of me, I'll say this. You know, a person of color. I wish they would use a person of color for a new IP. You know, you know, put some faith in that. Show some faith in that instead of just re- taking a person of color and reusing an old IP and putting them in it. You know, you know. I. It, Why can't it be both? But it's not. Well, I mean, they made the pass, only, uh, only, Pathfinders. That's Black what I was Panther. saying. That's what I was going to say. Black Panther. That's the only one I've seen. And why do you think it it did like it did? Because it they that's exactly why can't they just keep doing that when it comes to people of color? Do that for a while, you know. Let people of color see characters that were made that way, and do that, you know, because like 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 a, even in my list of movies, right? That I added in my, you know, in my little list here, right? 
all those characters, except for you know, all those characters were were in reality they're they're real people, most of them. That were one one guy was Chinese, but he was portrayed by a white person. Um, and then you have Johnny Depp playing Tonto. Yeah, that kind of stuff to me is a whole different category. Like I'm, if 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 if. If, if you're taking a whole different real category, characters I, I agree. and then having someone of a different race play them, we don't have to. That to me is just so problematic in a whole different level. I think right now we're we're yeah. dealing with fictional characters yeah, like, that fictional characters. But what? No, but what? To my point is nobody like when it comes to that, you don't really hear too much. Well, I heard stuff, a lot right? about the Lone like, Ranger. I was trying. Like, I was. He, he got dragged. Yeah, Lone Ranger. A lot of people agree, yeah. people got upset about even that yeah. movie. Um, you remember um. But did you hear anything about Stuck? I didn't hear about the movie at all. So <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Exactly. <laughs> but like, like, like that movie. Yeah. Um, uh, so was, a... was it Gods and Kings or that movie about about about? Yeah, that that Gods movie where it was like yeah. all white actors playing all these Egyptians. Like that, I heard a lot yeah. of talk about that. I didn't even watch that movie for that reason. And Moses, right? I was like, I'm not watching. Like, I'm not. I can't do this. Like, I like these actors, but they're all playing these Egyptians. Yeah, I but not, I'm not watching movie. it. Like I, that seems dumb to me. Yeah, what was his name? He played Moses in that movie too. Was, was it Christian uh, Bale or he played Batman as well? I don't Christian even know. Yeah, it's just yeah, a Moses. Mess. But so I, you know, so but I'm saying like it, 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 it was a mess. But you didn't hear an outroar, you know, well, like this. It's it because the, the, movie the people came out, outraged about Little Mermaid are. The majority <laughs> are, are are one a, a, a more vocal group, and they're from typically the yeah. majority group, right? right? The people upset about gods and kings, these other things. There's some white people upset about that, but for the most part, the people really upset about yeah. it are going to be probably minority. The people that don't have as much of a voice or really aren't going online yeah. to complain as much because. As much as I don't like it, like I don't feel the need to go online and like bash the movie because of it. I'm just not going to watch right. it. But typically, these type of people that are right. upset about these race swapping things tend to be the type of person that would go online to complain and bash the movie and review bomb it and like trash it for some reason. It's, it's yeah. a different kind of person that could be mm-hmm. upset about this versus upset about legitimate race issues and casting for 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 a movie. Reasons, yeah, is is what it seems. Yeah, in, in, in my opinion, hmm. I, I think. I mean, if they're going to, for example, if they don't want to let the uh, Little Mermaid die, because, you know, Disney did the same thing with Cinderella, right? So if, you know, they they did the, what's her name? Brandy. They had Brandy playing Cinderella, right? Mm -hmm. It did the same thing. So it's, you know, it's not like it's it's a new thing. Right, but no, it's not Disney anything. also knows its classics, and if they want to bring it real to life, you know, so put put real characters in it. Um, they and since they've opened up to other um, to other ethnicities, they they're going to have to open the pool up to. This is how it was the way. The, this is the way it should have been done in the first place. They're going to have to open the pool up to whomever. Will that was my thought too. Apply, you know. So if they have this project, mm-hmm. they know it's going to do well, and it's probably going to do well regardless of what these people are it saying. Probably will, you know, because it's a Disney thing, and Disney, uh, Disney is serious about its money. So <laughs> like they, they want this and, to, and I'll they be want watching this to to work. Uh, and everyone loves the little, well, not everyone obviously, but there's a large, there's a large amount of people who loved the little mermaid. So they wanted to bring it to life. Um, and so they did what I think that they should have done in the first place is just open it up to everybody, you know, and this is the way they should continue mm-hmm. to do it. They should just open it up to everybody. Yeah, there's, a, there's you know? a current discussion. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and, and I believe that. Say that again. Oh, no, Tim, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, and I believe that, you know, I just wish that, you know, you know on top of this, that they keep, Making those brand new. Well, IP they probably characters. will. I mean, you know no one's. Saying? No one can say that they won't. We don't know. You know, so instead of just using their old characters and rehash, reformat. Well, you know, you know there's a lot of work that's that all, goes that's into all. like creating a Disney story. 
you know there's a lot of research that goes into it mm-hmm. and uh, um, I was reading a little bit about you know every the things that they do so <clears throat> they might not have a new Disney story ready to put a new black or Asian or whatever you know face to it you know they did they make a Mulan? They somewhat they came out with a Mulan yeah. movie, right? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. Was it were those Asian mm-hmm. um, yeah. actors? Yeah, Disney did, and also yeah. also China actually came out with one around the same time as well, which was interesting. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you know, it, it, I feel like they're moving. I think I, I feel like <laughs> Disney is moving in the right direction. They're a business. They are concerned about money. It's just what businesses do. So that's you know whatever. But it seems like they're also trying to. I mean, it was just recently when they started when they had like Gay Day at uh, at Disney, despite all of these outrages. You know, like they they. I feel like they're heading in the right direction. Hallmark did the same thing. You know. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, but that, that's different. That's like, yeah, but that's 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 the good <laughs> progress. Even though they're doing it in their theme parks, but what do you mean? Even though, like, you know, that, that's, <laughs> what is that supposed that's to be, the, Tim? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're like because you know, I sorry. Okay, every time I think of Disney, when they when they promote something, I'm thinking like, how can we make but that's money? Every company, yes, and so that's every, and that's how I see, and that's every yep. business. But I, that's every business, right? I get that. But for some reason, it feels so <laughs> palpable when it comes from Disney. It just because you just love does. Disney. That's the problem. Like, the just, problem is you got like it's, you have love Disney. You just like just entertain me without wanting to be a business. The problem is it is a business, and that's how it has to act. Otherwise, it won't survive. Right. They yeah, have to that. be concerned so, about. So, just, are, are you guys as upset about the potential for James Bond to switch? So, James Bond has historically been white man. There's talk about about maybe it might be a woman or a black man. Would either of those bother Again, you guys? James Bond is very is fictional. So, James Bond could literally be. I mean, whoever he wants. I think even if he wasn't fictional, he could be whoever he wants. You know, people were outraged at I mean, the fact that. What's his name? Daniel Craig took that position after was it Pierce Brosnan? Mm-hmm. Like he, they were outraged because mm-hmm. they were like, "Yeah, it's not the same thing." Like it, because they they made it sort of more action. Yeah, type my, my wife or was whatever. She, she, she was outraged, but she was like, "He doesn't. He's not. He he wasn't as smooth and kind of he was exactly. She he was wasn't like, as smooth. Like exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So like she, it's a it's a it's a it's a fictional character. For me, they could put whoever they wanted to black woman. Asian. Here we go. So they have say this. to be from so England. funny. <laughs> I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it? Okay. Okay. So what? What is? What is one of the actors that I, Idris I Elba has right been talked about Elba. for a while? They were talking about um, yeah. Idris Elba. Now here's the thing about that. That's funny. Okay. So when you think of the Little Mermaid thing, right? All right. Here we go. Here we that. go. People are like, oh, Little Mermaid's black. Oh, it's it's not what I remember and all this stuff, right? But then you have a lot of people that's like, oh, if they get Idris Elba, I'm I'm great with. But that. you don't know if it's the same people. Though. So, uh, yeah, but it's a lot of people. They're like Idris Elba. So why is that so much of a difference? I mean, you're looking at two people. The only thing they really have that's different is one is from England. Well, I told you, America is the one both, that has the biggest you know, problem with right. race. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, in America. No, in America. You will hear, oh yeah, they do Idris Elba. Yeah, now, yeah. I, what type I, of I'm people are that. saying that, that that you're hearing say that? <laughs> well, I hear it all around. I don't know what kind of people they are. I just hear it Twitter. a lot uh, from time to time online. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. I, I hear a lot well, of hate for it as well. But like, I hear it a lot. Know, it needs to um, be, you know, don't don't change really? the character. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen. But also, Idris well. Elba is a well-known, popular actor. Also, whereas mm-hmm. you know. Hallie, Haley, Holly, Bailey. Holly she's Bailey. known. Holly, Holly, Bailey. Bailey. She's <laughs> known, but she's not at the <laughs> same level. Although I, I imagine had they chosen level. I don't know who might be better. Say um I don't know, Kiki Palmer or somebody, right? She, Kiki can I don't think she can sing like that. But say they chose her, right? She's better known. I still think it'd be the same issue. I I I think it's just about people's childhood is tied to Little Mermaid. Where I don't think it's tied the same way to James Bond. That's like James Bond has history. I think some people are attached that way, but it's not. Mm-hmm. I don't think they have like 
warm Man. childhood memories of James Bond, the same they might with Little Mermaid uh, to a degree. Listen, what you saying? What you're saying is they had warm childhood feelings tied to the color of her skin and the color of her no, hair. No, to to that to what they know ridiculous. about it, right? Like, and they don't want it no. being touched to the character yeah. in the way they no, remember. No, you listen. Yeah, listen. Okay, like I mean, okay. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you really just have to use logic, okay? Oh, agree. Ariel was colored yeah. in or not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> With a color in pencil or crayon and or crayon or whatever it was that they were using at the time when they, they did the storyboards, okay? Like, she was just colored in, all right? She is a fictional character. There has got to be at some point in time that you're able to disassociate, like, the color of this. Like, for example, what what if they made um, uh, what his name Sebastian, mm-hmm. right? The crab. Mm-hmm. What if they made him a white crab instead of a red crab? Are people going to have I'm issues? Blue. Are people going to have issues? No. They're probably not going to have issues. They were like, oh, it's about, oh, it's just a different color. And then they're just going to move on with their life. Okay? No, this is literally about racism. Like, I'm ethnical racism. I agree. Well, I feel 100, and it's masking everything else except, right. <laughs> what, and it's, it's, it's masking everything else. Like, they're, they're just like, I mean, they would say what you were saying, Chris. Oh, you know, it's tied to my you know, past or whatever the situation is. I mean, yeah, the, when you think of it, when you look at it, you think, oh, I remember Ariel was white. That's really, uh, I mean, that's really pretty much as far as that should go. You know, like, Agreed. that's it. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I feel like you're wasting your time. <laughs> I mean, if that's what it, it, what, what, what is holding you up, then, you know, you're not going to have far to go in life. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I think a lot of people are are a version of Tim's argument in that they feel like they're being forced by the liberals to accept all this new stuff that they aren't ready for, right? Like, like they feel like this Little Mermaid being I black thing, be right, is, mm-hmm. is simply to <laughs> force them to watch more black characters and not really for a good reason, right? How long, listen to this. Listen, okay, okay, we're gonna take your argument, Chris. Okay? It's not we're my argument. Take your argument, I'm just saying what but, I, I mean. I mean, no, 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 the argument that you just okay. brought up, okay? Oh. We're gonna take that argument, okay? And we're gonna ask you, how long has it been since black people, well, I would even say since black people had rights, you know, like to vote and stuff like that? They have had all this damn time <laughs> to get they S together, okay? <laughs> So they ain't got no reason to be getting upset that black people are getting black, uh, are getting roles. Okay, there's there, there's no excuse for that. You know, you you can't say like I mean this is this is these people aren't like I mean this is this, this is stuff race stuff happened before our time. I mean, like, sorry the the but, the slavery okay, so, and stuff. But here's the, but here's the huh. problem with that. That, that this belief is not just shared by white people. White people. This is but shared I, by. I, 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 I believe it. I believe by. it still has a racist root, right? Because <laughs> so here's the thing: even even myself, right? I had a lot of things mm-hmm. internally that I didn't realize were there until I got older against black people mm-hmm. because of right. yep. society, right? You just mm-hmm. you're trained a certain right. way to view people a certain right. way, even yourself. Right, you see someone mm-hmm. in a hoodie and they're black and they're young. Yeah. You are yep. ingrained to see them a certain way. Period. Doesn't matter right. that I'm black. Mm-hmm. Also, I understand. Right? That. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, that kind of black, so saying. they look like they're scary. They right. might rob you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, but I mean, but, I mean, but that's that's how we're trained, right? Via the media but that we me... see, which is also why it's important right. to start changing the media that we see because it helps remove some of that kind of brainwashing I'll, I'll say but let me ask you a question i mean you're absolutely right it, it ha- we have we have to yeah. make these steps which is what i think disney is doing even if y'all well, if even if they want to consider it pandering i think that's what they're doing i think that's what hallmark is doing they're making these steps but let me ask you a question when you realize because you're absolutely right chris you like if i see a guy 
in a hoodie. I mean, I don't, I'm not even thinking about the fact, I mean, that, that happens afterwards. Like, oh my goodness, you're going to get shot, you know, sort of thing. But <laughs> I've associated the hoodie even before all this with just up to no good sort of thing, especially if it's on. Right. Like if your hood is on, I'm just like, you're up to no good or whatever. But that, like when that happens in my head, I'm thinking, Nate, why are you thinking like this? Because I know it's, it's not like I chose to think like right. this. I just was taught to think like this. And then I have to make the steps to disregard these thoughts that I'm thinking. You know, it's the same thing that happens with like if you see uh, homeless people or stuff like that. Like you, your first thought is um, lazy or whatever or dirty. That's usually my first right. thought. Dirty, don't touch me, don't talk to me <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. And then I have to make myself overcome that be like, no, nah, this is a, this is a human being. I don't know what their story is, you know? Um, right. Yeah, like you, you have to make, you have to, you, you can't just rest in that, that knee jerk reaction. You know, that's why you have a brain. You're supposed to use it, you know? And then this, that's what yeah. it sounds like Disney is doing and all these other uh, production studios are doing. They are, they, they, even the people who are working in these these um, studios may have those type of uh, reactions initially, and that's probably that might be one of the reasons why they're actually doing it because they want to overcome. Like Chris said, he, they want to present this media so that even at the very least, the newer generation is not going to have this issue with uh, racism that we are suffering with. You know, so. In any sense, regardless of whether I, I feel like regardless of whether this is a monetary, if Disney is doing it for money, because they are and they're going to make a they're probably going to at Dis Disneyland and every, all the mermaids are probably going to end up being black, you know, or something. Or they might just make a was it this? It's a small world kind of yeah, thing with not? all the mermaids from different mm -hmm. races yeah. or something like that. <laughs> like they might. Who cares? Who cares? We're looking at like where we are going with this and the, where we're going is anybody of any race can apply, uh, can, can, um, can, uh, I don't, know. I don't know if they apply. What do you, what did they do? They audition audition. Thank you. They, they can audition for any part and get any part unless it's very like, as we, like we talked about before, unless it's very specific, you know, like if you're talking about like a Nordic type of situation, it's almost highly unlikely that there's going yeah. to be a black. It's not impossible, but it's highly yeah. unlikely. Like Mulan. So like that, Chris that, was saying before, <laughs> so, you might want to tell this backstory yeah, right. so, that they can, so that they can understand. But otherwise, <laughs> like it's, you know, unless it's really, really, sp and again, this Danish story told in the Caribbean, the mermaid probably, in our minds, probably should have been black from the beginning. You know? Yeah. Now, no, have, have, you know, it may be. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you Go guys ahead. see? Just think, think about like how how we how these things we see affect us. Did you guys have you guys seen the videos of little of little black girls online that are that have been seeing the black Ariel for the first time? Like I didn't. I, I mean, I saw, but I didn't watch it. Them. It just makes you realize, couple, like what you I take for granted. Because again, for how many years, like oh, little black girls only saw the white Ariel, right? And 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 we think it's whatever. But when you see these girls, right. like, oh, wow, like, she looks like me, right? Like, it's it's not just a movie. It's not just switching the race of the character, right? right? There's other things right. happening, to, the, to your point, to, I guess, our point, right, about as we see these things, it changes society. It changes how we feel about ourselves yeah. and, and how, mm -hmm. you know, we internally process <clears throat> this thing that's in a less toxic way, even as a Black yep. person. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I mean, we... We, I agree. We're very visual people and we love stories, you know? So what better way to do it than to do it through storytelling, yeah. to do it through these production companies? No, I... I, like, I guess, you know, I, I, I hear what you're saying and I think I think on those, on those same lines and stuff, you know? But, like, I try to, you know, I don't know. Like, I talk to a lot of people, so you know, I I can't just be like, like oh, you know, you know, like oh, that's wrong, and you know, whatever, you know. I gotta hear. You gotta be able to hear what they say, and it did, you know, just cause, just because they're saying something that opposes 
to what you believe, you know, or what yeah. you think. It doesn't mean that you just have to outwardly go out and just like attempt to destroy. No, their I, I, I can their I can idea. hear someone's idea so. and and understand <laughs> and disagree. Right. Like, like exactly. I hear. I'm not. Well, I'm not what saying I was you say. are an idiot, but I do think you need to understand. Right. Maybe there's something inside you that you don't understand is there, and that's why you feel this way. Yeah. I I think you also. I think I. It's something that I've had to do. Like you know. When you ask somebody, this happens all the time. When you ask somebody, uh, how are you doing? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And you, or, sorry, this is probably a better, sp- more specific. If you say, uh, yeah, well, you'd be like, how are you doing? You look upset. Are you okay? Something like that or whatever. You know that there's something wrong with them, right? But this person is going to say, mm-hmm. uh, well, you know, I didn't get enough sleep. You know full well that that is not the truth. You know, they're just hiding behind, they're hiding the real thing. But I mean, obviously, they don't have to tell you anything, but they're still there. Uh, so when somebody is telling you this opposite point of view, I mean, yeah, I, I don't just straight up tell them, oh, man, please, you're stupid. Like, you know, because they might have some different type of um, thinking that I'm not, you know, privy to. But I also have to be like, you don't want to be making you don't want to be thinking like that hiding behind something that you know is um toxic like you, you don't want to be saying something uh be like yeah but it could you know what well, like you were saying maybe they could just make new uh you know movies and leave leave this one be or whatever what what harm is it going to do it's actually going to do a lot of harm and you know that that's the case but you're not accepting the you're you don't want to face the reality you know you just want to you just want to uh act like the real problem is um the ip or whatever when it's actually not the real problem is something deeper that you're not really want, wanting to uh wanting to discuss and that is that is a big problem that is the reason why we have all these issues in the first place people are trying to sugarcoat it and you know whatever and it should not be so yeah and you know something to tell you the truth actually i don't think this is just an american thing I remember, I can't remember her name, but she was doing a part in France and she quit. She's African-American. She quit the part because they were trying to make her do something. And... Okay, so that's very vague. I'm following. She was (laughs) trying to do something. (laughs) And she was like, nah, not doing it." it. was. She was on a play. She was in a play. Okay. And um, oh, listen, listen. We are we I are at a time <laughs> so, for my notes. <laughs> so we can discuss that at a uh, at a uh, later date. But uh, that was that was an interesting that was an interesting conversation. Yes, indeed. Let us know who you guys sided with. Side with Nate, Christian, or Tim? <laughs> who who is no side? Rep your team no in the side. comments. And uh, like I said, let us know who's right. Who's, who's right. right? Like no. I said. <laughs> It's Christian, but uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Me personally, I'm going to see this movie. I'll see I, it too. I, I don't may or may not. I don't really care. Yeah, I just like. I just want to hear what people say. I like the music, so I'm going to go watch it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, follow us on all our uh, socials: Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, like and subscribe and then um and tell yeah, your friends uh, again all your podcast oh, apps yeah. make sure you go on there like review subscribe so you know when we get the new episodes coming out we are now weekly so keep an eye out now we, 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 we will we'll give you a kind of a, well, a longer episode and then we'll give you a shorter kind of review episode or or our business corner as we're i think we're calling it kind of sort of maybe so probably business yeah. corner good stuff Love coming out <laughs> so stay tuned stay subscribed stay tuned and we'll catch y'all next time Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim. (laughs) Ciao.